This is a uh, small terrestrial woodland snake that I just caught. Um, this is known as the northern brown snake. Steraria decai is its scientific name. Um, this one I just found a few minutes ago next to this damp wood pile, which is somewhat common of their habitats. Um, likewise, areas behind me here that um, are wooded is also a typical place where you might find these guys under leaf litter and logs and rocks where there's some slight moisture or dampness to them. Um, this is a nocturnal snake so they usually prefer to be out at night so it's very common to find these guys crossing the roads. If you compare this one to another common species are found around here, the uh, ringneck snake or even the eastern worm snake, both of which are also considered very small snakes. This one in comparison has very large eyes, um, which indicates that it is not so much a burrower but a, um, a nighttime, actively nighttime snake. That's the right term. Um, Generally a brown color snake, uh, usually it has a little stripe behind the eye, if you can see a vertical stripe, and a row of dots, dark dots, that run the length of the body. Um, the background color is usually a brown, dark brown to a light color, and if you look in between the, the, uh, the spots, sometimes it appears to be a, either a darker colored stripe that runs in between it. The scales are generally keeled so it sort of gives it a rough appearance. Um, this guy is totally harmless, does not bite. Um, they don't get very large, probably average length like I said maybe before. Not sure if I'm repeating myself. It's about 12 inches. Um, that's not the maximum, it's probably an average length. They give birth to what appears to be live young. Their young are living when they exit the body, the females. Um, however, they do sort of retain the eggs inside the body, and so they hatch inside the body, and that's when what appears to be live birth, but technically it really isn't. Um, so, anyway, they feed a lot on uh, invertebrates. Um, probably the only invertebrate they may feed upon, if they're capable of, is a newly emerging frog or a small amphibian. Um, so, otherwise, totally harmless and Again, very, very common around here. So I'm going to let this one go. This is a nice size one, by the way. This is probably about close to 12 inches. So it's probably about the average size adult you would encounter. Okay, here we go.